Well, you know, I was fortunate in 1976 uh, as a 21 year old in my first ever trip to uh, the Tournament of Champions at Riviera Lanes in Fairland, Ohio, to win that tournament. That was that was huge. But uh, you know, I, I look back on 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 the TSC in '76 and my two victories in '75. My two my first two. Uh, um, Fresno and, and in Hawaii, and both at the expense of, of my good friend, and, and he was my he was my, I idolized him, Carmen Salvino. So uh, you know, there's a, a lot of there are a lot of great things to uh, to look back on. I had uh, you know I had a, a exciting career during during an exciting time in the in the history of our game, and uh, and uh, I'm not sure I'd do too much different. Well, it's, it's a great honor. Uh, you know, the, it all started many, many years ago when a on-the-way-up player, Marshall Holman, was asked by the man, Mark Roth, to bowl doubles with him. And uh, it didn't take very long to say yes. Uh, it, it really was, uh, I didn't realize it at the time, but looking back on it, it was a turning point in my career because if Mark Roth had confidence in me, it certainly made me more confident in myself. So uh, to have this tournament named after me uh, and my, my good buddy Mark is, uh, is just awesome. We gelled well together. You know, we both had similar ball roll. Mark's was stronger than mine, but, but not a lot. Uh, I, was, I was a power player back in the day as well. And uh, we were able to line up off each other very well. Mark was always, Mark insisted that he be the leadoff man. Not because he thought I was a, a better clutch bowler, but he wanted to get lined up and then let me know what the lanes were like. And so it was like, uh, it was like having, having that extra set of eyes uh, to, to really help you know, get, uh, get me lined up. It made my job so much easier. You're there on your own little island you know, virtually every week, and then once a year we got to bowl doubles together. I was fortunate to have the best player in the world from the right-hand side, you know, Earl Anthony was the best player on the left-hand side back in the day, um, and uh, so to have Mark as my partner and uh, was always something I looked forward to. You know, it, I I felt like going into every event at the start of the week that I had a good chance to contend and possibly win. But when you put the combination of Mark Roth and myself together, my expectation level went up even more, and uh, so it was was something that both Mark and I uh, looked forward to very, very much. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't a, a U.S. Open or a Tournament of Champions. It wasn't a big major, major event. But in, in, um, in the minds of Mark Roth and Marshall Holman, it was very important. That's great. I, I, love, I love being linked with Mark. I, I, think, it's, I think it's amazing. Uh, you know, he was the, certainly the father of, the, of this modern power game that we're seeing you know, in, in today's bowling, and uh, and uh, I'm very proud to um, to be mentioned in the in the in the in the same breath with Mark Roth. You know, I was I was involved in, in, a, in an era of bowling that was that was great, and and there was a lot of a lot of positive things happening, and uh, and I was fortunate to uh, you know to be one of the one of the best players from back in that era. I'm you know. Mark was always, he was always a couple, a couple steps in front of me, uh, but, uh, but being, being able to be even in his shadow uh, provided a pretty good time in the lanes back in the day. As, we, as we're doing this interview, I just, I, I just drilled a couple of balls up last week, uh, and so I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be bowling in the, in the USBC tournament uh, with some old friends. Uh, that will be that will be fun. I, expectations uh, minimal. You know, I don't bowl much. Uh, I I am gonna gonna be practicing and, and trying to get myself you know ready to hopefully not make too much of a fool out of myself. You know, there's gonna be people people from back in the day will they may they may see that I'm bowling and the, and they're gonna be watching and and their expectation level will be much higher than mine. I think it's great. I would have loved to have been involved in that. You know, I've had the opportunity to do some uh, some telecasts of some uh, collegiate team bowling, and and there is a uh, when you get a group of, of, of players together like that, there's a certain level of intensity that that just manifests itself and looks like it would be a lot of fun to be a part of. Well, I uh, got involved with uh, with a friend of mine down at, back in. Uh, 
in Medford, Oregon. Uh, he's been a winemaker for 30 plus years, 20, 20 plus years in Napa and now in, in, uh, in Southern Oregon. So diamondbackwine.com, uh, that's, uh, that's our business. And, uh, and it's, it's, it's fascinating. I, I always in, have enjoyed wine. But now that I've been in the business for a little while, I understand exactly what I don't understand. There's a lot, lot to learn, uh, but uh, it's it's a beautiful business, and uh, and that's what I'm doing nowadays. And it, you know, it's not it's not a full time thing. I, I, I have uh, plenty of time in the winter time to uh, to do a little snow skiing and uh, play golf in the in the in the summertime. And uh, you know, I, and looking back on on what I've done, you know, as far as bowling has. Uh, it's very gratifying, so uh, life's good. <laughs>